I am going to have a seat over here because we are about to bring out our second guest of the night. My next two guests, class of 94, they were two of the many standout athletes for the girls' sports lineup. They were both basketball first team all conference and basketball all state. They were both nominated for the Quad Cities Athlete of the Year. And in addition to juggling multiple sports, they were great students as well. Please make some noise and help me welcome Class of 94, Debbie Maroff Goinghurst and Nikki Bradley Jordan. They were phenoms. They were great at every single sport. They kicked ass. Yeah, they were. Awesome. Now, you're an athlete mixed in during this time. Was there ever a point where you kind of said to yourself, we're really good? <laughs> every day. <laughs> In every single sport that they went to state, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and Amazing. then we got second in basketball, which was really cool. Yeah, you guys went to the final game. Yeah. Well, look at that solar chip who scored like 30 points in that game. Where's she at? I don't know. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> eh, don't worry about her. I just saw her on an episode of My 600 Pound Life. So. <laughs> you guys are looking great. <laughs> <laughs> they like cut her out in the room. Man. Anyway. <laughs> Reason number 1005 why I'm going to hell. <laughs> See half of you there. <laughs> Alright, Nikki, you were also a multi sport standout athlete. Give us your favorite sport and why. Well, I guess. So if I had to pick, it would probably be well, probably basketball because we were the most successful in that. But it was really, if I had to be honest, it was whatever sport I was in at that time. Uh, I loved every sport. Um, so whatever sport I was in, I was totally focused on. That was my favorite at the time. Yeah, yeah. great answer. Yeah, you bet. So you know, when when I think back to '94. I wasn't really worried about, you know, what you guys were doing, but, you know. <laughs> no offense, in my own thing, no. But when you look back at Will High School history, the 94 coaching lineup for the boys and the girls was outstanding. Uh, we had a lot of great coaches. So, who was your favorite coach, Debbie? I can't say I had a favorite. Um, so we had Mrs. Brender, we had Mr. Levenhagen, Mr. Beebe, um, Mr. Charlton. Yeah. We had a bunch of people who helped. Um, they all were my favorite coaches. Mm -hmm. They knew when to work us hard, but they knew how to have fun with us. So if you knew this group, we like to have fun. You bet. You got in trouble a lot. Yeah, yes, you did. You know, and, <laughs> so, which I want to get to that. <laughs> Tell me, Nikki, about, you know, obviously it's no secret that girls are smarter than boys, right? So you guys were standout, you, you ladies were standout athletes. Did you guys do okay in academics, or were you uh, doing Saturday school? Debbie was the smart one. 
Now, come on. I doubt you were a D student, right? No, you guys no. probably both no. did. We at were least all good students. We were all good students. I mean, school is important to us just as much as school is super, so. Yeah. You were at least on the blue on roll in the advocate, right? <laughs> yeah. You were the gold, Nikki's bright blue, barely, right? <laughs> so, you talked a little bit, Nikki, about getting in trouble in school. I, I can't imagine that you guys had any time to get in trouble, but by chance, did you? We did all the time. Um, nothing bad though, it was always just fun stuff, but I guess one memory that would stand out um, would be, um, you know, we just always did little funny stuff where one day uh, Debbie and I decided that we were just going to get out of class. We got passes, I don't know why they let us out, but we snuck down to the home room at the time, which Mary Mauer was our teacher and we loved her, we had so much fun with her. But we snuck out of class, went down, went down the room, and we dug in the fridge and we were made hungry. Them. Yeah, we were hungry. <laughs> oh, you ate, you ate a teacher's lunch too? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> you should have totally dated. I was totally into that. Oh we my made, god. We made pudding and hid in the corner of the kitchen, and we thought we were money. We were going to go back up to school or up, back up to class, and we did. We did. We got caught. Mary found us, and we actually had to stay after school. I don't know how many days we had to. We call her. Scour Mauer because for <laughs> quite a few weeks we had to scour the sinks and the ovens. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I think that's a great story because everybody, you know, thought you guys were just miss, miss, and miss perfect. But that turns out not. <laughs> how, how about you, Deb? You got any fun uh, getting in trouble stories? Um, one story I remember in volleyball with Mrs. Grender. She would tell us to surf. And she would go into the locker room, her office was in there, so she'd disappear for about five minutes. And we didn't say anything, we all just knew what we needed to do. We went on one side and we just hit our serves as hard as we could to hit the back wall. Oh. And just have fun with it, and then the minute she walked out, we acted like we were doing the right thing. I don't know if, she, I don't know if she's here tonight. Oh. I don't know if she ever knew we did that. She's probably watching the live feed, she probably just threw a pillow at the TV. <laughs> Dude, Miss Render don't play. <laughs> She does not play. <laughs> oh, goodness. well, you know, she's a heck of a good coach, but she don't play. <laughs> now, hold, hold on a second. Uh, someone backstage just told me, Nikki, that you have a surprise for me. Oh, wait, what surprise is? Oh, that's the purse. Okay, I hope it's not the mace. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two Debbie with some hearts on it. What is this? What is this? I'm trembling. I'm so excited. What is this? And that's actually, um, that's actually a love letter. A love letter? Yes. To uh, Debbie? To Debbie, yes. When, so, as you know, uh, Derek Saddle is the man managing editor of the African News. He's also my cousin. Yeah. Um, when Debbie and I were seniors in high school, Derek would have been like 11. And he loved sports, he loved watching sports, but even more so, he loved watching Debbie play sports. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's a love letter that I found from Derek. Wait, <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Derek Sobel, yep. who would have been like 11 when you guys were seniors, yeah. had a crush on Debbie, yeah. and he wrote her a love letter and never gave it to her. Nope. And I'm holding it in my hand right now. Debbie Mara, but it was 25 years ago. Nobody cares about that letter, Joe. Does anybody want to say here? Right? No, no. Who, it's in the past. Who wants me to read this letter? You have to read the letter. Fine. But if anybody's going to read it, just give it here. I'll read it as it was written. Oh. I'm good. 
fifth grade is tough for me. I bet it was easy for you. Because you're so smart. I wish we were in the same building every day. We could see each other in the halls and at lunch. Might as well have had two schools. I know the high school isn't far, but my mom says I'm not allowed to ride my bike past City Park. That sucks because I could give you a ride home from school on my bike bikes. I gotta admit though, you're just one of my crushes. I've got two. In the mornings, I have Saved by the Bell and Kelly Kapowski. But at night, it's the Wilton Beavers and Debbie Morrow. You're so much better. I saw you at the basketball game the other night when you faked out that Duran girl and hit the winning shot. You looked in the crowd, and I just know you were looking at me. I was so excited, I spilled my fun dip everywhere. Your blonde curly hair is just so great. And those homemade scrunchies you girls had were just awesome. You're so good at all the sports. And you're really strong too. I hope I'm as strong as you someday. My dad says maybe next summer I can join Brisker's Total Fitness. So, it's 1994 and there's a new movie coming out later this year called Dumb and Dumber. It's gonna be in the theater at the mall. You wanna go together? You'd have to drive though. Guess what I'm trying to say is, would you like to be my main girlfriend? Just till you graduate because I can't date anybody in college. Please check yes or no. Either way, you are so cool. Love, Derek Sauber.